SolidWorks 2014 provides a far more streamlined process when integrating SolidWorks geometry into CircuitWorks. We are now prompted with an export wizard which is a very simple step-by-step -step process to click through selections to define what we want to do for specifying our board, any holes, or keep-out areas. So with just a few clicks, we can quickly generate our model in CircuitWorks. CircuitWorks has many enhancements to the interface. For example, we can do multiple selections in the tree, and we now have the right mouse options to filter out items, disassociate models for those, zoom to fit, and so on. So there's an added convenience to the interface. The middle mouse button is now supported, allowing you to zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, pan with the button pressed, or double click to fit the model to the window. Similarly, in the library, we now have a consistent look and feel, and a wizard has been incorporated so that if you want to add components to the library, it will take you through a step-by-step -step process to pick files and then add them to the library. So again, the process has been streamlined and the interface made easier to interact with, reducing the time it takes to get your work done. Now something else added to CircuitWorks in 2014 is an additional thermal properties for components. We now have a material density, specific heat, conductivity, heat generation rate, and resistivity. This is very valuable as this information can come from IDF files with the components from other electrical packages into CircuitWorks and then these properties are also supported by SolidWorks flow simulation. So not only do we have the extra information in CircuitWorks, we can take advantage of it directly in our analysis. The benefit of that is automating the process of entering the data so that we do not have to manually type it in again. So in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, we can scan all the geometry in the model, and then it will automatically identify any additional materials or thermal properties. We can see the thermal properties as well as the heat input for those items. As you can imagine, this is a great time saver for speeding up the time of setting up our model. And it also avoids the potential for introducing errors through entering wrong values. As we can see, this is quite a substantial number of heat sources that have been generated as well as material properties. This is really going to streamline the process of evaluating heating and cooling of our designs. Something else added in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation in 2014 is when exporting to eDrawings when sharing results with other people to review. We now support multiple result sets in the eDrawings document. 
so we can look at the model and see what all different result types displayed, which makes it very easy to review different characteristics. We can even toggle individual results on and off, such as the section plot or streamlines. These are some fantastic improvements in SOLIDWORKS integration with analysis as well as electrical design.